this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how Henry runs the best bunch tight end in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up-to-date with the latest tips and strategies going on right here on the channel. Now, if you guys uh, haven't already heard, uh, Henry is one of the best up-and-coming Madden players in the community. Um, I think I, I mean, he's I think he's 17 years old, but he's very, very good at this game. And one of the things that he found early on in the season was how effective this bunch tight end really is. So I'm going to be going over his favorite play from the bunch tight end in this video. But I also uh, wanted to let you know that I've actually released my own uh, New York Jets offensive guide that goes over the gun bunch, the bunch tight end, and the trips tight end offset all in one guide for you. If you want to get my entire offensive guide, it is just 15 bucks, um, and I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. But basically what we're going to be going over today is PA boot over, and a lot of people will tell you, um, you'll see people, I mean I've even done videos like this, but I mean, a lot of people have done a lot of videos that have claimed to be able to stop this play and the reality is they still can't stop it, okay? So this play is so powerful. Um, so let's just go over what you do. All you're gonna do is you're gonna put your tight end on a delay fade, as you can see right there. You're going to double team the outside guy on the right here. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can smart route the square receiver if you want to. You can even motion out the square receiver if you want to, okay? But this is, this is the core of what the play is. And at the snap of the ball, what we're going to do is we're going to basically roll out to the right side, just like this right here, and we're going to just basically laser people. Um, I have on my defensive settings in this video, I have pretty much your standard defense. I have your, your Mabel coverage, your, your 25, five and five. Um, that's kind of what I'm rocking with. It's what most people would do against this. And again, what you're gonna see is this, the beauty of it is that that circle receiver, he doesn't always, as you saw right there, Sometimes that player will jump it, but as a general rule, he really very rarely will stop that route, okay? He very rarely will be able to stop that route. Um, I'll show you it again, and I'll show you one little thing you can do. So once you get to the sideline like this, all you gotta do is just playmaker him upfield, and when you playmaker him upfield, you basically wanna throw it as soon as he moves. Like as soon as he gets playmakered upfield, that's when you wanna do it. So again, I'm just gonna double team this guy, you don't even, I mean, literally, the only hot route you make is a delayed fade, so you can get it really quickly uh, set up. See here, I just play maker him up, and I secure catch it, just like that, on the sideline. That makes it really hard for the defense to stop it, especially if they're running some type of maple coverage, which it's very likely that they will, um, given the kind of strategy that this play employs. Now, the next read on this play is the crossing route. Now, the crossing route is the route that is really the most effective route, and as you can see, it gets over those 25 yard zones. Actually, you have to run a 30 yard flat zone to be able to stop that. And so it, most people won't do that. And if they do do that, then they're gonna leave themselves very vulnerable to other things that you are gonna have um, at your disposal. Another thing that's really cool about this play is you're basically blocking seven people. I mean, and you're basically blo blocking seven people uh, you, with a play action blocking mechanic is going to neutralize a lot of the pressures that you've probably seen um, And so as you get out of the pocket if you don't see any pressure Then you can just hit the X button and release that delay fade and as you can see It's one of the best zone beaters in the entire game because the yellow zones won't run with it The yellow zones won't run with it because it's a delay fade um, Also the yellow zones won't run with it because most people uh, will be using their yellow zones They're going to be uh, using their, their hooks on five yards because um, they're running a zone drop defensive scheme. So as you can see here, uh, right here, the yellow runs with them nicely. Um, it's a nice little three rex. Some, occasionally the three rex will do that, um, but it's very, very rare, okay? It's, it's, it's actually very, very rare. So, you know, if I was running Mike Blitz three, what I might do is I might have to flip it so I can get that three rex on that side right there. And then I, you know, kind of do my adjustments like this. Now if we watch it, um, and I think typically it's only true of like a default three rec, but if you look here, if I roll out, um, whoops, I forgot to put the tight end on the delay fade. The, the three rec is what most people will do as a strategy to be able to stop this. That's kind of their, that's kind of their plan. And there is a way to, there is a way to basically negate that. And I'll talk about that in just a moment. Like if you start to see people do that, there is stuff you can do. 
But again, if you just come up here like this, and then you'll see here if you watch, see how he doesn't go with him? And you can just throw it for, you know, 30 to 30 to 50 yards. Um, the post route over the top is not a really, I mean, it's not one of those things that you hit a lot. Um, it's actually very rare. Even against, like, cover for drop, you see that, I mean, it's, it's just not open. Um, it's not open against a lot of things, uh, but where it will be open is let's say that they go to some type of man coverage and they play underneath coverage where they are trying to basically take away the crossing route with the curl flat, you know, and essentially they're just going to use, I mean, something like this right here. I mean, you see that was actually pretty good defense, right? I mean, that was pretty good defense, even though we got the most random block shit ever. But if you watch here, you know, if they, if they play that coverage like that, then what's going to happen is that square receiver should get over the top just like that right there okay so if they take the deep safeties out of the way then that that square receiver is going to get over the top really nicely now i told you that i would talk a little bit about what do you do if they start three wrecking or what do you what do you do in those situations what i like to do is i like to take the tight end and i like to just put him on a delay cross or delay drag and I actually learned this from sybil uh watching one of his streams um, but this is super, super effective. You'll see here that, you know, even even though they're manned up, he can't stay with them just like that. And as you can see, I don't know why it doinked off my guy's head, but the delay drag is kind of the counter to that. So, um, you know, yes, will they be able to stop it sometimes? Yeah, they will, um, especially if, they play, if they're playing some type of Mabel coverage on the right side. T chances are they typically probably won't, but you'll see that's more what we're looking for. And I didn't get a great throw from Rodgers on that. But basically, you know, that's kind of the idea. Um, and I'll show you one more time here. But essentially, you know, roll out. He, see how he comes down like that? We'll release him. And oftentimes he gets, oftentimes that linebacker will get blocked. The reality is most of the time that linebacker is the user defender himself. You know, so, so that's another thing. And then real quick, I want to go over match coverage with you just to kind of make sure that I've covered everything in this video. Um, that the defense is probably going to do. So I'm going to jump back into a default zone drop setting. This is where, and, I, and this is where we'll, we'll dive into this a little bit, but this is where it's much more likely for a yellow zone to kind of latch on to the tight end whenever they start to do something like this. This is much, much more likely. So you'll see here, I'm in just kind of the standard cover four, and I'm going to do the same setup. I'm going to put that tight end on the delay feed. I just want you to watch. So if I roll out just like so, you'll see they should follow. Um, they actually didn't there, but the guy didn't do a good job of coming back in. So you saw, I mean, they didn't follow, they didn't do what they needed to do. Um, Mike blitz three, I'll do a three wreck, pass commit. Here's three wreck, and you'll see here, see how he drops deeper, but he doesn't really stop him. As you can see, he doesn't really stop him. Now, um, let's show you the, dr the delay drag, and this is why the delay drag is really, really good against a, a defense that's similar to like quarters. Um, if they, if they, if they, if, if they're running something like that, this delay drag, just wait on it, and you'll see here. You know, I mean, he gets wide open as long as we, if they, if they take that guy on the, on the left side of the way, he, he'd get wide open, and typically they will because what's going to happen is if they don't, and I haven't showed you this yet, so let's just say they're running, you know, kind of standard quarter coverage here. I just want you to watch the routes. But typically this crosser is wide open, as you can see, wide open. So as, a, as their defense, what they'll do is they'll man that slot guy up onto him. So they'll take, you know, something like this. They'll do something like that, right? And that's going to leave them vulnerable to this delay drag. You see that the man coverage, the match coverage, I mean, I guess he swatted it, but... It does play a little better, but it doesn't. It doesn't stop it. Um, it's it's interesting that, to me, it's really interesting how well, like this delay fade. If you just wait on it, like you can just die. I mean, it it just gets open. So you know, and, and it's the same. I didn't even cover this. Um, man coverage is something we probably all know by now. But with man coverage, whenever you get out of the pocket, if you just wait for the defense to chase you, then you release him. You see the guy that was manned up on him is no longer there. And as you can see, you're able to get easy yardage. So that's why the bunch tight end is so effective. If you want to get my full Jets offensive guide that covers the gun bunch, the bunch tight end, 
as well as the Trips tight end offset. So you can get the full offensive guide in the description of this video for just uh, 15 bucks. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you have any questions, you can always text me. My number is 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, if you want to get that offensive guide, it is going to be available for you in the description.